Hey, what's going on? This one should be a brief one. I'm sure by now you've all heard the news about Zaza Ali, a.k.a. Ginger Dan Daniels. You know, ripping people off. I, like I said, people shouldn't be surprised. These people are criminals. They have criminal records. They did their thing from scamming or robbing or doing coke. <clears throat> so... Why should you be surprised? What's going on? I dropped the heat on that. And I even give the credit to that other coon agent who has to be exposed at some point in time. Tariq Nasheed. But when he drops the, the heat on, on, on the people, he does that for other reasons. Usually to, to deflect from himself. So, <laughs> Zaza Ali is collecting this money for this healing shit. I swear, man. <clears throat> Black people fall for a lot of shit. Either that or maybe they just felt, hey, let me pay this money to meet this lady. You know, the lady they showed on the news, you know, she could have, you know, even though she had a daughter, she looked kind of suspicious. You know what I mean? So, you know, maybe these people figure, hey, man, I pay this money. Get my chance to uh, do my thing with Zaza Ali. And you can't tell me Zaza Ali does not know that she's cute and she knows that she's using that to seduce suckers be they female male old man like professor griff or whoever <clears throat> but i know professor griff right now i know he's saying see i told you this this vindicates me yeah i guess you did tell him but you still knew what she was all about and you still stuck with it because you know why. So people want to go on some healing tour, guru type bullshit. That's why you got to check people's background a lot of times, man. When they're fucking criminals, they come out with a new scam. We know she got turned out just like all the rest of these coon agents got turned out. They were up on some charges or they went to college and they got turned out in a fraternity or sorority. Jabari. We know what this is all about. We keep trying to tell people. Some of us keep trying to warn people, but people don't want to listen. But people will willingly give up your money <clears throat> to some guru bullshit. I mean, come on, meditation BS. You meditate, they meditate that money out of you. It's that simple. Some people are saying she didn't return all the money. Others are saying that she did. But whatever the case was, as is typical, when the news gets involved, people get forced to turn that money in because if they don't, you know what happens. So the main thing was she, she canceled the situation about a month before or a month after she couldn't hold the venue because she couldn't pay the money. So she probably could have made some money out of the deal if she would have paid the damn money. Sometimes, like the saying goes, it takes money to make money. <laughs> Excuse me. This job around here, man. Hey, somebody's spreading some shit in that job. Because <clears throat> I don't really get sick like this. But um, it takes money to make money. You know, I admit Saw Nutter, he knows how to put up some money. He knows how to hustle it up and do his events. Now she tried to do the old school scheme of book the place, don't pay for the place, and hoping that the people pay for the shit quickly. And then she'll pay it off and get whatever she's supposed to get out of it. <clears throat> I don't know what this venue is like, but most of these venues, they don't really charge too damn much to begin with for one day's, uh, I don't know if it was one day or whatever the hell amount of time it was, but one thing that's certain, <clears throat> she has to know how to do business. Or maybe she's just flat broke, but this messes up her credibility. And when the news gets involved, that's the only reason why you uh, refund money 
doesn't make you look good. So let's mess up your future endeavors. Zaza Ali. And of course, with this, you know people are going to uh, talk about your criminal past, which involves this type of shit. You know? Criminality. Defraud, defrauding people. Embezzling money. And then you got turned out in prison. They cut you a deal. You went from Ginger Daniels to Zaza Ali. Now you got other people who are saying, this is why you don't trust the mulatto. You let the mulatto scam you. Now I'm hearing from everybody else, just like me. Nobody else knew that she was mixed until she said it. <clears throat> Somebody else knew. Then they outed her. But, um, you know, this is a prime example. You can't just say, okay, well, she's a mulatto. You can't trust her. Because some of the biggest Uncle Toms are dark-skinned individuals. And I always say this, anybody who's quick to release the word, the N-word out of their mouth, especially when they get angry at black people, those are the people you can't trust. But when it comes to all mixed people, you must question them about their white family and their white parent. How do they feel about them? Because that's a valid question. Because you can't talk about racism and white supremacy <clears throat> while being half white. It's not as if your parent is long dead. Your parent is still around. So how do you feel about them? How do you really feel about white people? You can't call them devils and crackers and shit like that. If you got to go talk to them after you just did a live uh, show. Hey, mommy, I love you, mommy. Love you, mom. You know, all that kind of talk. You know, she got some of that white talk from her mother. <laughs> I can't even get too live because then, man, I mean, <clears throat> I got healed from the other cold. Or sinus issue. And I start coughing up uh, some bad stuff. And uh, I mean, damn, they don't keep the climate control right in that motherfucking building. And, you know, you got all different types of weird individuals and shit. Yeah. yeah. Take me some zinc when I get in the house and some other stuff. I mean, damn. I tell you, I don't really get sick like that. Anyway. Um, so, again, one by one, they're all scamming. And I'm sure Tariq Nasheed will be talking about this. And when he talks about it, he does it to protect his own ass, to make it look like he's credible. I can't wait for him to fall. Once he falls, then black people will stop falling for the BS of people like him. But he can get away with it, see, because the more money you have or the more perceived money you have, the more people give. The less perceived money you have, the less people give. Zaza admitted she was broke. People still gave. But they gave because they thought they were getting and they thought they were meeting the person. That's why people do these types of things. Because they want to meet the person. So, you know, they got beat. It wouldn't have been a, a big problem if she hadn't still collected the money after the venue had been canceled for like 30 days. That's what really made her look like a crook. Because <clears throat> Man, this shit just fucking got worse throughout the day. Shit. Maybe it's because it's cold to settle in now. I don't know. Yeah. But um That's what made it look more like a, a certified crook because she kept on trying to collect the money. I know she didn't want to let that damn money go. But that's why you do some slick stuff like Sarnetta. You know, you got one venue, use another one as backup. See, at least as much of a crook and a liar as he is, at least he came through with a different venue of some kind. You know, so I, I can at least give him that kind of credit. 
That's what she should have done. I don't know what this venue was that she had. I don't know if it had some serene flowers and shit to seduce people's mind or some shit. I don't know, but whatever the case was, she could have had a good thing going. But now she just ruined it, you know? Now people say, I'll, I'll meditate with you when you do a live broadcast on YouTube. That way I don't have to risk my money. But analyzing this, so you know, I got to analyze this. I'm still thinking to myself, <clears throat> black people don't mind giving money as long as they, it's for idiotic stuff, like as long as they think they're getting something out of it. You know? But that is in the short run. If they're trying to get something in the long run, they don't like to get it, unless it's to the church. But these people, I, I mean, as long as people are going to keep giving that kind of money to people who don't have official businesses, then, uh, you know, people are going to keep on scamming. I mean, the businesses are not official. They don't have any brick and mortar place is all via YouTube soliciting and a bunch of jive, so to speak. So I think it's pretty uh, unusual that these people continue to draw a crowd. So <clears throat> I would recommend that people stay away from these uh, people. But of course, people never will. And by the way, I just, I was in Best Buy, I just happened to come across Spike Lee's School Days on Blu-ray. I'm like, damn, man, they've been BSing on uh, a lot of his movies. You know, that one wasn't one of my favorites, but the songs were classic and, you know, had Jasmine Guy in it at her apex. So, figured I'd get it, and I got a hell of a deal on it, too, so couldn't resist it. Was going to get the Black Klansman 4K, but... They, they didn't have it when they said it, they were going to have it. So forget it. <clears throat> I'll get a hold of it some way. But anyways, so Zaza, unfortunately, well, fortunately, not unfortunately, she's been proven to be a fraud and a scammer. Even if she gives the money back, like they, like she claims she has some claim that she didn't. Even if she gave the money back, every penny of it, she still attempted to defraud. And I forgot the critical part, which was a clear cut lie. She said she got in a car accident. That's why the thing was canceled. Come on. That's like the dog ate my homework. I mean, come on. Matter of fact, damn, if you think back, didn't Brother Polite say he got in a car accident and that's why he couldn't give people their money back and, and, and do what he was supposed to do? Damn, did these people uh, uh, all take notes from the same source? Well, they are coon agents, so why not? I mean, <laughs> it's a damn shame. It's a damn shame. Meanwhile, people like me who mean well we can't get shit. You know, you know, the donations I did get, you know, I appreciate that. But they trickle in so few and far between. It's hard to really get moving. But. You know, we pulling in that kind of money shit, man. I, like I always say, man, there's no excuse when people got the money rolling in. <clears throat> there's no excuse. But Zaza, I, I, you know, I'll excuse that money. Because it was for her little whatever the hell retreat thing. As opposed to, you know, I'm trying to improve the black people. See, my whole thing is to set the foundation to improve black Americans lives. Because every time I walk around, I'm feeling like I'm the foreigner in this country. You know? It's just crazy. I think after a while, it'll come to a head when white people start feeling like they're the foreigner. And when they get pissed, then that's when things will change. 
you know, they already projected that whites would be the minority to the so-called Latinos. You know, I don't I still don't know what the hell why you want to take the risk on that. That's what they want to do. So that's why I'm like, we got to get it together sooner than later, man. Because later it's starting to look like it may not happen. Because if they if we don't get reparations, then I think they're going to try and destroy us because they got their new uh, slaves in place. Hispanics on a whole, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, <clears throat> but on a the whole, they're not really educated like that. And they love the white man. They don't hate him. They love him. Even the Puerto Ricans and Dominicans who are in prison talking about, I hate you white people. They love them. They just don't like them in that circumstances because they're in jail. Outside of that, they love them. If they didn't love them, they wouldn't be trying to mix the nigga out of them. But, um, scammers, they, they, you know, they'll continue to scam. You know? That's why when people like me, I question the people like the Zaza Ali. And I'm sure by now, <clears throat> you know, people looking for some more stuff on that. I'm sure those uh, numbers will be going up. But I didn't see if she addressed it as of right now. But she's going to have to say something. Can't run from it. Can't act like it didn't happen. Because this is the news. I don't know what town I, the, the, the news was in. But shit, it was the news. Once your ass makes the news, that's it. I mean, there's no turning back now. <laughs> but you notice how coon agents always make the news. One way or the other. People like Polite, they always try to make the news. They try and act like they're doing something. But. Once they, usually the coon agents get positive uh, news. So we'll see. We'll see how things go. I'm sorry about the bag thing, but. <clears throat> I gotta get me some. I forgot to pick up some goddamn chicken noodle soup. I did get the ginger ale, so that was a good thing. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna see how things go with these people. Scam artists, black people keep getting conned. You know, just blows the mind. Blows my mind. And, you know, I was starting to think that, damn, man, is that the way you get black people will contribute you gotta you gotta scam them i mean damn and i don't want to do that that's not what i'm trying to do i'm trying to create an atmosphere of trust between black people black americans and um i know there are others who get pissed because i isolate black americans from others but we need to do that you know and i know i know they get mad but I kind of want them to because I really need black Americans to get together. That's why everybody else is already together in one way or the other for themselves. So my voice is done, but this new program, as long as this thing doesn't crash, it looks like this is a keeper because this sounds better. I mean, the goddamn elaborate software that looks like a recording studio in the palm of your hands and that one's supposed to be the one with the uh great sound that one sounds bad i don't know why and i've never seen an update to that one but this one <laughs> this one is the one that's actually sounding good unbelievable but it is what it is now that i know what it is Maybe I'll search for some more uh, software that resembled the other one. We'll see. All right, well, I just had to touch on that. And you know I had to touch on that. I ain't trying to put nobody down, but I'm just saying, man, it is what it is. She uses her good looks, her cute smile. So you got to understand. <clears throat> let me tell you this before I go. I was about to let this go. Now this just came up in my mind. I always tell people I can look at people and tell what the hell they've been into. A lot of us can do that. A lot of us get naive. When we see somebody like Zaza Ali, we're thinking, oh, she's cute. 
I'd like to hit that. But when you combine her past in the uh, weed smoking and the drinking with her criminal record and other things I have I have observed about her physically and of course messing with an old man like Professor Griff to get a place to stay and probably getting trained in uh, aging activity. <clears throat> Her teeth. It's going to sound like I'm trying to insult. I'm not trying to insult. I'm just pointing things out for the sensitive. Her teeth. Uh, I forgot what they call that. Uh, you know, the fake teeth. But that says a lot, especially when you're dealing with a woman. You know, her skin on her face looks clean and unblemished otherwise, from what I can see. But the teeth tell a lot. They tell either neglect because you just neglected to deal with your teeth or due to the obvious drugs. You know, she seems to have a bubbly personality, but you see she gets ghetto every now and then, which might be the real her. And uh, I noticed that she has some. Uh, what do you call them? What do you want to call them? Wounds, I guess you can call them. Just call them like it is. Wounds. Street wounds. Almost looked like she got shot one time, you know? Because I was on one of her live videos. I said, God damn. She was wearing a uh, tank top or whatever the hell they call those things. Yeah, tank top. And I saw the wounds on her. I was like, God damn. I said, what the hell you been into? You got shot? She ignored it. Which, I, you know, you expect that to happen. So it looked like she's been into some shit, you know? So then combine that with sleeping with a man that's old enough to be her father. You know damn well he was sleeping with her, or else he wouldn't have been so damn mad. Uh, he's a, he's, you know, it's food for thought. You combine that with the criminal record. See, some guys and some lesbians out there, you look at the, the person, you're like, oh, man, I'm attracted to that person. I like to do my thing. But see, that's how you'll get taken. See, me, if I met Zaza Ali, yes, I would do my thing. Hit the home run on that. But I wouldn't be so naive and pussy whooped, as they say, to bypass anything else that's going on. A smile like Belle Bidvo, who got it from KRS One, said a big you can't trust a big button to smile. I don't even know if she has a big button up. I think at one time she did when she was a little heavier. Maybe that's another reason why females are following her too because she was a little heavier and she dropped the pounds. So, but you can't trust the big button to smile, man. You just can't do it. That's how they get you. But people will always fall for it because you know how it goes, man. <laughs> you know how it goes. You look at her video every time she's on live. Most of the comments don't stem around. Zaza is great. Go ahead, girl. It's mostly two things that people are saying. You're mulatto, you criminal, you scam artist, you hoe. Or. What's the other thing? I forgot. The, that's the main thing they're saying or they. uh Damn, I forgot. Just had a memory lapse. God damn. So they calling her mulatto, hating on her. All that kind of stuff on her live streams. Which that part I don't understand. And they call her... Oh yeah, the other part was they always say, Oh, Zaza, you're so beautiful. You're so cute. Which you know... The only reason why they're watching the video. And she knows that too. And the authorities who turned her out they know that. That's why they put her on. And they say her mother is Jewish, which means she's a Jew. People keep falling for the games. <laughs> People keep falling for the games. You fall for that game. Right now, I got to get my ass in, in the place so I can watch the game. Was it Seattle and... Uh, I forgot who the hell else it was. God damn. And I got to uh, 
take my zinc, man, because this that's why I hate being around a lot of people with different lifestyles, man. Because then, no matter how people look, man, you just I tell you, man, it's starting to seem like you know what I'll say that for another video. <laughs> All right, let me get out of here.